to Excellence Link Academy. For today, we'll be dealing on how to, how to derive the formula to Dasic equation. First things first, what is Dasic equation? Actually, it has to do with the measurement of head loss due to friction, right? So, your first task to derive Dasic equation is to draw out this diagram as you can see actually this is illustrating a pipe right a pipe having two entrance the section one and the section two as you can see in front of you all right now my first fact is that i know that for a pipe a pipe although has um hole right the, the outer hole and the what inner hole so hence that hole is representing i can call it uh perhaps area right so that hole here stands for what the area the rate at which water passes through um, the pipe i can call it pressure right so hence automatically automatically pressure at section one here um, area section one is equal in value to pressure at section two uh, which is what area at section two plus what hf right we call this hf what head loss due to friction right so we are told to derive this as we are going to make this the subject of the formula all right at this point what do i do make hf the subject of the formula so i'll have hf is equal in value to this guy here we move all the other side i'll have hf is equals to p1 a1 um minus in p2 a2 at this point what do i do our first task was that i said for a two part for a five this way the entrance here has area and pressure also a section two it has area and pressure also call the first section p1 a1 why because it's what at section one also a section two p1 p2 a2 plus what hf right head loss due to friction all right we got to this point at this point please ignore a right i will ignore area ignoring area i'll have hf is equal to p1 minus what p2 right over rho g what all right what do i do at this point at this point i will cross multiply hence yes, i'll be having this material like this i'll be having hf rho g is equal to p1 minus in p2 so this simply means that anywhere i see hf rho g i can replace this as um p1 minus p2 and anywhere i see p1 minus p2 i can replace it with hf rho g all right um at this point let's um introduce a concept so which is what netted force at this point, I will introduce a concept called netted, netted force, which denoted as what? As F. Hence, at this point here, we have introduced netted force. Um, come to this point again. I have what? P1, A1, right? Is equal to P2, A2, then plus HF, right? Hence, you put what? plus f because you are, you are what are considering what netted force at this section here all right what do i do at this point i will make f be the subject of the formula so by doing that i'll be having um f right i'll be having f f this way being equal in value to p1 right a1 hence this will move to that side because what minus, minus p2 a2 right so i have this i have this all right i'll factorize this so i factorize that we're having f is equal to a into p1 minus what p2 now listen 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 here's the idea please um actually i can also factorize p1 and p2 but i do not do that why because the pressure at this point here and at this point might varies right it might change but the area 
I can tell them I can write the area because area is the same. Why? Ah, because they are in the same world. The diameter, the same entrance here is equal to the same entrance here. So I can um, replace them with each other. Hence, I'll be having area is equal is e into P1 minus P2. What do I do at this point? At this point here, divide through by A. So if I divide through by A, divide through by A. So doing that, I'll be having F over A, right, is equal to area into P1 minus P2 over A. This cancel out this, right? So I'm left with what? Um, F over A is equal to P1 minus P2. So which is what I have at this point. So what do I do next? Listen please. What do I do next? We said whatever you see P1 minus P2, replace it with what? HF rho G. We said that earlier. P1 minus P2 can also be replaced with what? HF rho G. Also, anyway, see HF rho G, you can replace what? P1 minus P2. So I will replace P1 minus P2 as what? HF rho G at this section. So I'll have F over A is equal to what? This one here. H F rho G. I have this at this point. So now listen, listen. This can also be written as H F rho G is equal to F over A. Mathematically, I can approach it this way. Now at this point, let let F this F here. Let it be F prime by B L B squared. At this section here, let F be what? F prime by D L B squared and also let area be what? By D squared over 4. Listen, I'm going to this section here. Now let this F be what? F prime by D L B squared and also let area be what? By D squared over 4, right? At this section here. So what do I do next? So I will input parameter. Right, so I'll be having what? HF, HF rho G is equal in value to F. Or set F is what? F prime by D L B squared. So I'll have F prime by D L B squared over, we said area should be what? By D squared over 4. So I'll have by D squared over 4. So applying this mathematically, I'll be having hf rho g is equal to f prime by d l b squared right divided by what by d squared over 4 i can write that this form i'm still correct so applying the law of reciprocal we say that what how to convert division to what multiplication so i'll be having hf rho g is equal to what f prime by the L B squared multiply by what you what in that that becomes what four over by D squared right so hence pi we cancel out pi all right um D here I'm left with one we cancel out one here that's four right so I'm left with H F rho G is equal in value to F prime all right um L B squared four over what D. Hence, listen, please. Listen. It is not wrong. When your value, listen, this is a, this is an alphabet. And this is your value. It is not quite. It is not wrong. When your value is what at the back, but it is um. Let me say it's not proper. So hence, your value, your number, numbers come before alphabet. So hence, I will arrange this as what. I will as as what. F prime. Sorry, as four. F prime by sorry F sorry now becomes F prime L B squared over D. This is okay. It is correct. It is correct. But it is not my proper this way, right? You put the uh, number for the word alphabet. 
So at this point, I will take H F um, rho G is equal to what? 4 F prime L V squared over G. So what do I do at this point? E G, take it down. I will have H F rho G is equal to 4 F prime L V squared, right? Over what? E rho G becomes rho G. I will take it down. I will left quote D. At this section, so I will clean up, I'll clean up this because I've taken this man down here, so I'm left with what HF. So HF is now equal to 4F prime LV squared over what rho G G, right? So at this section, at this section, what do I do? At this section, um, at that section, I'll simply substitute F prime and rho G as as um, f over 2 what am i saying i'm saying that at this point we said f prime and rho g so let um, let f prime over rho g be what f over 2 so anyway i see f prime i'll put f anyway i put anyway i see rho i'll put 2 at that point so what do i have i'll be having hf is equal in value to 4 right this 4 at this point f we said f prime should be what should be f so i'll put f right i'm left with what lv squared so that becomes lv squared over we said e should be what 2 um e should be 2 so hence i'll put 2 at this section i'm left with what gd so I have G D. So here is how to prove um, that sick equation um, in a short um, um, let's see techniques, right? So let's take an example under this and let's um address this matter. What's it? Alright, let's take an example under that sick equation. Put on please. Um, water flow through a pipe of 200 millimeter in diameter. I said water flow through a pipe of 200 millimeter in diameter, 60 millimeter long, with a velocity of 2.5 meter per second. Find the head loss, right, due to friction using DASIC formula. And let's say F should be equal in value to 0 0.005. So um, let's solve this question, right? Our first tax in physics or in any science um, concept, your first tax is what? List out the given parameter. So my givens, my givens, what am I given? Check. My first tax says that I'm told that water flow through a pipe of what? 200 millimeter in what diameter so i'm giving what diameter to be what 200 millimeter all right let's proceed 60 meter long right that's the length so my length there is going to be what um 60 meter as my length also with a velocity of 2.5 meter per second so my velocity b is equal to 2.5 meter per seconds all right find the what head loss due to friction that's what hf hf as we got this hf so we're looking for what hf right also take f our f should be what uh, 0 0.005 right no si units so these are all my given parameter now listen, here is the idea. If you list out your parameter, right, out in science, it tells you what you are going, it tells you what to do, right? This is simple as ABC. Your first task here is that your first task in science is what? List out what? Parameter. After that, check, are you converting? And I see millim millimeter, meter, meter, right? So I have to convert to what? Convert this to what? Meter, which is what? 0 0.2 meter. So I'll convert this to meter. I'll have 0 0.2 
meter. That's all. So put a formula. Recall that we said um, pressure head due to friction is equal to what? 4F L V squared over what? 2G D, right? So I'm given 4 is a constant value. I'm given force, right? Force is what? 0 0.005. I'm given length. Length is what? 60. And velocity is what? Eh? 2.5 meter, right? Meter per second. I'm given that. 2 is the constant term. Rho is, sorry, G, gravity, is what? 9.81. Note that, please. That gravity is equal to 9.81. For young science, they use 10. Right, but um, for institution um, institution um, students, we use 9.81 to represent gravity. Also, diameter is given in the question, which is what? 0 0.2 as per what? As our conversion. So let's put in parameter and let's get value. So, putting in value at this point. Alright, at this point, putting the parameter, I will have HS, which is this, is equal to 4, right, multiplying what? F, we said F is what? 0 0.05, right, multiplying what? Length is what? 60, I have 60, multiplying, velocity is what? 2.5 squared, 2.5 what? All squared, right, over, I'm giving 2, as a constant term, multiplied by gravity is what? 9.81, 9.81, multiplied by diameter is going to be what is 0.2. Right? So at this point, what do I do? Punch, just punch only numerator. Give me a value, please. HF is equal to, just punch everything here. Right? 4 multiplied by 0.005, so multiplied by 16. That's what? 7.5. 7.5, right? Over, multiply the method. The method, give me value, please. 39. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3, 9. 3.924 I have 1.1913 in what? In meter, right? In meter. So here's my answer to that question. This is how to solve problem under DASIC equation. Thanks for watching and welcome to Excellence Link Academy.